Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Pocket Fire Emblem for the Game Boy Advance. This will be part 25 of our Let's Play. In the last episode, we uh, oof, got our ass kicked pretty hard and pretty frequently for a little bit, which should have been a bit easier, but I was uh, quite incorrect. So now we are following the Black Fang that we just beat uh, back to their base. So they follow the Black Fang due south. Although the trail vanishes, Lin uses her tracking skills and the pursuit continues. Is that like a... It's like a natural 20 or... Like a... 5-up save or something? Sorry. Sorry, I'm like... I, I'm deep into planning for a campaign uh, I'm going to... Like a, a role-playing campaign I'm going to do on the weekend. So... I'm like in that mindset of... Uh, I've been sitting here all afternoon like mapping and and throwing ideas around for the structure. So I'm in sort of that mindset. It's fun! It's fun, I love doing that. Uh, it gets me back into the whole... Um... Like, mindset of being creative. And and just being able to sit there and just, like, rock out some Breaking Benjamin and, and like, get it done is so much fun. Anyway, uh, the path leads up into Burns' impassable mountains. The peaks know no seasons and the snow covers all in a bright blanket. In this land of blinding reflections, an ancient castle appears. Dun dun dun. Chapter 25. So we're up to episode 25, chapter 25. Look at that. Almost like I planned it that way, but I didn't. So in the end, you failed to defeat them, didn't you? Hmm. I only introduce you to Lord Nurgle out of respect for your rank. I was mistaken to think a former royal soldier would be. Next time will be different. I swear it. I beg of you, give me one more chance. Ha ha ha. One more chance. Surely you jest. Without Lord Nurgle's good word, I'll never fly again. Not as royal wyvern knight, at least. Please, another chance. Ah, but you're quite skilled at begging, at least. Desist, you have fallen from our graces, and nothing will change that. Just be grateful, you are an outsider, so you are spared the Fang's judgement. You stink of failure, leave me to breathe in peace. Mm. So there you go. So that's basically what happens if you, uh... If you leave her alive, if you don't kill her, you don't get that. If you kill her, you don't get that. That Wyvern Rider, that was the same woman we fought earlier. That proves that they took this mountain path. Oh shit, it's this mission. I hate this one. This could be a- this is definitely a two-parter. Um, now what have we here? What a complicated place. It's little more than whispers, but I can hear human voices. Over there, let's go take a look. Marcus, wait here with Ninian and everyone else. Be ready to escape at any time. I'm counting on you. Yes sir, I will not fail. Really? You're giving me a mission? Really and truly, Mother? I am, and it's a very big job at that. It's for the King of Burn. The King? Such an important job for me. Sonia, I'm against this. Giving such a dangerous job to this child. Father? You're right, this really is a job for your sons. However, we've seen nothing of them since their last report. Lloyd, Linus... So my daughter will do this, and I will have no complaints from you about it. Ah, oh, father. You may do as you please, but... First business. Jafar, come. Jafar! Look, that man. He was at the Dragon's Gate. Nurgle's henchman, no question about it. Jafar, should you be up? Don't your wounds hurt? Must you be so discourteous? It really is quite irritating. You heard the king's request, did you not? Prince Zephyr. He wants him assassinated. What? The prince? The king wants to kill the prince? Why? He's his son, isn't he? Nino, be quiet. Ah, I'm sorry. 
you far. This mission is yours, and you've to take and you're to take Nino. You're not serious. Yes, I'm serious. This girl is my daughter. She must prove herself as soon as possible. Don't do this. This is too much for her. As long as you're with her, there should be no problem. I'll block I'll brook no disagreement. We must have the king in our debt. Those are Lord Nurgle's explicit orders. Nino, you understand the consequences if you fail, don't you? Um, yes. Then we're off to investigate the prince's mans. I'll provide more details on the way there. <clears throat> Joan. Yes? Where is Brendan? He just left the room. He went outside with Jan. I wonder what he's about. I'll deal with it later. Listen, Joan. You're in charge of the guard while I'm gone. Do not let anything happen to the item. In charge of the guard? Bah! I was top dog until that Cretan Jafar showed up. Joan! I know, I know! Do they seriously mean to assassinate the prince? Aye, on the orders of the king, it would seem. Unbelievable. The emblem is essential to the prince's ceremony, right? Having the emblem becomes useless if the prince is dead. We must stop the assassination. The girl, Nino. If we speak to her, she might understand. Jafar looks like a dangerous man, but we have no other course of action. Oh, here you are. How delicious. My blade shall feast well tonight, won't it? Oh. Now, which one first? Wait, hold it. There are some nasty ones mixed in with the rest. Mustn't get one of them. Might ruin my sword's appetite. You don't mind, do you, if I do it this way? That's... Hollywood, there's no reason to treat with that madman. We must find the exit. You, woman, you have beautiful skin. If I sliced you into lovely red ribbons with this, would the pieces be as soft and delicate as silk? You. It's no good. Something's blocking our way. We can't get out. I can feel an evil power emanating from every foe here. If we do not defeat them all, the barrier will hold strong. Ha 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 ha! That's Lord Nurgle's doing. He knows how I love to slice through people. He lets me do it as often as I want, which really is all the time. He's after something called he calls quintessence. I care nothing for it, but as long as he keeps bringing me people to slash and cut, I am Germ, the finest assassin the Black Fang have ever known. Now come, my blade hungers. Gone. It's all right. He's still close. In this building somewhere. We've got to defeat him and destroy the barrier. Otherwise, we'll never leave. Aussie nerd, we have to find that man and escape this place. What are your orders? Uh, don't die. Good, good pro tip. Uh, well, we'll pick units first, then we'll, we'll save after. So we'll just take everyone out, same plan as usual. We will check them out, see what we've got to work with. Uh, actually, no, no, wait, first of all, I should take the augury. I see. Shades of battle yet to come. A moment, please. This battle will be easy with strong defenders. Wyvern riders in particular. I see many doors, so thieves or keys are needed. Oh, and I feel the Merliners should join you. That's it. Would you like me to repeat the augury? No. You feel that Merliners should join me? Like, don't get me wrong, he's gonna join me anyway, but... What? I don't remember that force, or like that fortune. Um, we'll bring all the lords. If you keep leveling them up, there's like no reason not to. We'll bring Priscilla, obviously. We'll bring Guy. He's too good to pass up. Um. Okay. Well, we'll bring Urk. I want some more levels. We will bring Wrath. We'll bring Dart. Might bring Canus. We'll bring Oswin. He's a good defender. Uh, right. Ooh, do we bring Matthew or do we bring Legault? We might bring Legault for the XP. Actually, no. 
Uh, since there's only one, like, promotion <clears throat> item for Thieves, there's no reason to bring both, like, ever. Um... Could bring Penta Louise. Oh, here, Louise has the white gem. I should sell that. When I get the chance. Maybe we just bring Will. Or maybe we'd bring, like, Raven. Bartra. Let's bring Bartra. He doesn't get enough use. Okay, so how are we doing here? Weapons, weapons, weapons. Ah, uh, right, no, you can use bows now, so that's fine. That should be fine. There's a big storm around, you probably hear the rumbling through the mic. It's uh, quite loud, but there's like no substance behind it. It's quite quite disappointing, because it's been a hot day. Um, I might take a bigger sword. We might take a... Ah, uh, you know what? We'll go nuclear. We'll take a silver sword on Guy. So he can just absolutely muller everyone. Uh, short bow, long bow, iron bow, that's fine. Dart, you're okay. Canis. I still don't have... No, I do have a Flux. Okay, good. We'll take that. Oswin, you are kitted up as much as you need to be. Iron sword, steel sword, that should be fine. Okay. We'll save it up. And away we go. Uh, sure. Well, don't worry, guys, I brought Merlinus with me. For whatever reason that is. Oh, uh, wait, Matthew doesn't... Did I... No, I do still have a lockpick. Good. I might do something like this, like Wrath. Oh, yeah, it's snowing, so everyone's movement is, like, super short outdoors. That's, uh, that's awkward. That's fine. I think uh, a lot of this mission is indoors, I think, so once you get inside, the movement penalties no longer apply. Yeah, like, there there's so many doors to go into. I think it'll be fine. Uh, obviously I will park Elliewood next to Ninian, because the whole point is to try and build up their, uh, their relationship. I don't know what the strong defenders are for. I guess just to hold the doors behind us would be my guess. Wow, they couldn't even reach. That's pretty bad. Ah, oh, wait. The snow will stop soon. That's your chance to move ahead. That's right. And we also have, like, a weather effect. Okay, I'm thinking we just wait and let them come to us here. Uh, Heath should be able to take one. I don't think he'll kill anyone, but... You know... It'll be fine. Okay, we'll just move Elliewood, like, up here. And then move Ninian here. Because if we actually get her to dance every turn, that is XP for her to level up. Whereas, like, obviously if we just park them next to each other and don't get Ninian to dance, then she's just stuck at low levels. Not that that's a bad thing. Levels, I, I've said it before and I'll say it again, levels don't really mean shit for a dancer. But, if it's a choice between not getting levels and getting some levels, bit of a no-brainer. Like, take the levels. See, because what I'm pretty sure is going to happen here, yeah, it'll be a single attack, so... That's as expected. Okay, so now we can move. So we'll get Matthew to lockpick this. There's a big boy inside, but nothing the guy shouldn't be able to handle. Dice him up. Ah, oh, crit. Boom! That's the guy I know. That's the guy I want. Yes! God, that is satisfying. Just jumping in and dicing him up. It's pretty depressing. I think the first, like, the first ever character I made for an RPG I based pretty heavily on, like, Guy. Although, not necessarily Guy, uh, the one in the second game is cooler, I think. It's like, Joshua, I want to say? I think that's what his name was. Um, might even move... Oh, wait, do you have a longbow? 
Anyone have a longbow? No, okay. I just didn't want to risk running him into somewhere he can get longbow. Because you can run him with the Axe Reaver, which won't actually kill him, though. He's not going to attack again. Because, yeah, what I might do here... Ah, oh, see, I still won't kill him. Oh, actually, hang on, yeah, no. I can run Lin up here. Maybe use the... Bow? Yeah, we'll use the bow. And, uh... Get her some weapon experience. Then we'll use Ninian to rush Matthew... Uh, rush Guy, sorry. And then Guy can go and kill the other one. Probably get shot at, but he's got a high dodge. He should be fine. Yeah, see, look at that. Critical 25% with an Iron Blade. And Iron Blades have shit critical. Do they have zero? Yeah, critical zero. So effectively, he just has a base chance of seven of 25%. Which is, like, mental. Um, and then you start... You get towards the end, you equip him with like a Brave Sword or a Killing Edge or something. Hmm. It's just great. In fact, I think even the Silver Sword has crit. No, it doesn't. Misremembering that part. I think Oswin could just go down that side and he should be A-OK. -okay. We can get you some XP. Actually, Valkyries are an interesting sort of class because like, you would think that going from like a Traubador who doesn't have any offensive weapons to a Valkyrie whose only offensive weapon is shit tier anima magic at the start, obviously as you trade them they get better, you would expect them to be shit, but you have to remember that like Traubadors are mages so they have growth, so they actually start with a surprisingly high base um, base magic as a, as a Valkyrie. Which is why she was doing so much damage there. That and Wyvener Eyes are weak to magic. Weaker to magic. But even so, like, it's just something you don't really think about when they're a, when they're a shitty Traubador. You're just like, yeah, okay, you know. Sure, you get magic, but that doesn't really affect anything. It affects, like, very slightly affects how much, um, how much, what do you call it, they get. Like, how much healing they do. But again, not by much. Ooh, that's not good. That's gonna tickle. Ow. Second attack. Yep. Ow. That was almost Dart's death. I probably should have thought about that. <laughs> Dart, you should maybe fall back a bit. Uh, actually, do you have a sword? He does have a sword. Mm. Okay, in that case, then... Yes, you should definitely fall back and let Priscilla heal you up a bit. God, see, with a high magic, like, that heal just goes up a ton. So if I just attack you with this, it's like a 50% chance to hit. That's not really what I want. That's a bit better. I like the look of that a lot better. That went pretty well. Didn't didn't go like the best, but could have been a lot worse. Uh, is that a Falco Knight? There, okay, not in the front. Um. Okay, well maybe. Ah, uh, Wrath's been hurt already. Okay. I was gonna get Wrath to go and play with those archers, but if he's already been hurt, that's probably a bit risky. Oh wow, he had a Sword Reaver. That's awkward. I didn't even know that before I attacked. Yeah, buddy. Reverse the weapon triangle, why don't you? Oh shit, that one's got a hammer. Oh god, he's gonna put the hammer down. Oh god. I guess Lin can just do it, right? That should 
be okay. She probably won't get hit, right? Yeah, okay, good. I mean, she could survive it, but like, it's one of those things where you play this, you don't want to have too many people that end up on low health at the same time. It just opens you up to risk. And it's hard to like, juggle them all for healing. Okay, so Wrath can actually shoot that guy. What if I just do this? Like, it might draw in the Falco Knights to attack him. Oh, sorry, the Pegasus Knights. Pegasus Riders? Are they Knights by default? Yeah, they are. So, like, Wy Wyverns are Riders, but Pegasi are Knights. It's kind of shit for the body Wyvern Riders. Especially since Wyvern Riders are, like, arguably better. At least they look cooler, in my opinion. Nice, we've got some XP for Urk. Now it's just a matter of blocking him with someone. Which in this case will be... Probably not Heath, that's a dangerous kind of precedent. I could block with Matthew, he's not gonna die. Actually, that's that's a scary proposition, I shouldn't have said that, because he, he might. He might die. Well, I'm going to find out now. What'd you get? HP, speed, luck, and resistance. The only stats that she will ever need. <laughs> she won't need body... Um... No, I guess she could use defense. Uh, you need a lot of defense before it becomes useful. Yeah, I'd say it's the only stat she, like, ever really need. Uh, I don't really want to charge Heath out. He's not quite as tanky as, like, Bartra. Oh, okay, still only 11 damage. Oswin is just a machine. Considering Oswin's, like, you get him on what, like, the... second mission of Eliwood's path? Like, he's... he's a pretty good mainstay. You get him to level 20, he's damn near unkillable by most things. Some of the bigger boys still do a bit of damage, obviously if you throw him against like a mage or something that he has like sort of sort of a weakness against, you might uh, might run into some trouble, but against you know your heroes and um, like paladins and stuff like that, most of the time, hit their attacks will just bounce off, like, do literally nothing. Which is pretty awesome. Uh, I could attack with Urk, but it's gonna be shit, right? Because they are Pegasus Knights? Eh. I mean, kill them. Wouldn't call it that shit, in that case. I kind of expected sort of like 10 damage. Um... Right, see, here's the thing, I still... I still don't want to send... Heath out there... at this point. Could I kill... Oh yeah, you're way dead. You're way dead, mate. Uh, in fact, super dead, because that's a crit. Like, look at just how scary Canis looks. He looks like, buddy, the most... I don't know, evil, like, necromancer-looking dude ever. And yet he's good. He's on our team. He's cool. We love him. It makes a lot more sense in the second one. Um, a, they actually have a class called a necromancer, I believe. And B, the, the druids are all, like... They're not, like, from an evil kingdom, but, like, the, the kingdom that all the druids come from is, like... They have the they have the dark stone that's like all all evil. So they're not evil, but the stone they use is definitely evil. And it's part of the main plot. Right, well, Oswin cleared out that little little infestation of shit. Alright, we'll see what happens. Oh yeah, the guy did have a Lance Reaver. Whoops, forgot about that. 
Even more reason to heal up Heath before you throw him into any engagement. Matthew, on the other hand, should have no worries. He will only attack once because the Iron Sword was, yeah, was fucked. But now we're good. Ah, oh, wait. It's going to snow again. Be careful. Yeah. Kind of figured that would happen. Okay, you got the sword equipped, so bow's actually not a terrible idea for you. Yeah. I mean, you'll kill him. It does kind of put... Oh, no, it doesn't. I was going to say it puts Barcher at risk, but it doesn't, because normal nomads only have bows, so if they want to attack him, they would still have to attack him, like, one for one with the bow. Oh man, that's not a kill. Okay, neither is that. Shocker. I could make it a kill though. If I do this... One health. What a joke. One... One individual health. Count it. Alright. And then I dance for Urk. And then Urk can attack again. And I can kill the other one and I can keep pushing forward on those nomads. Which is the important part. The nomads are the scary bit. The mercenaries, they're a good, like, mainstay, but they're not really... Not really a... a sort of frontline... Well, I guess that's what they are. They're a frontline, they're not like a damage dealer, they're not a sort of big damage boy, they're just hard to kill and they do solid damage, which is what you want in your... Just frontline, bog standard, just shit people. I might even kill one with Guy just to rub it in. Dice him up, Guy. Oh, I look like, ah, oh, the Sword Nuts are so cool. Like that dodge where it's just the lean, like it's practically imperceptible. You know, I just imagine, like, the classic movie scene where they're, they're getting sliced out and they're just dodging it by, like, you know, they just watch it go past their face in slow motion as they just lean slightly out of the way. That's such a badass image. Always love it in, in films. It's a bit overdone, it's a bit cliche, but it, it, it does establish badassery pretty quickly to have someone just dodge something purposefully by, like, an... A, a millimeter. Yeah, you know, obviously if it's in like a comedy or something, it's an accident, you know, someone throws something at them and they like see it go past, they're like, Muh! as it goes past. It's not, you know, not, not quite the same thing. But you get what I mean, right? I, I hope you get what I'm, what I'm talking about. Oh, even Matthew's got a 6% crit. It's not awful. Like, you, you gotta realize, you're not really supposed to crit with weapons that aren't the... Um... Aren't, like, killing edges. Or, like, a killer axe or a killer bow or whatever. You know, like, 10% for a base crit is pretty high. Uh, who needs healing? Where's my Genji mains? Okay, Wrath is my Genji main for today. Which kind of works, I guess Priscilla is sort of a... is kind of a mercy. Not really, though. I mean, she wasn't before, anyway. Maybe she is a bit more now that she has, like, an actual weapon. I'm still confused as to why they said bring Wyvern Knights. So far, there's been a lot of archers. So that's, funnily enough, very much not what you want when you... when you have, like, Wyverns. I might just inch forward. I, I could open this door, but I kind of want to wait until, like, we have some people ready. Uh, whoops, can't do that. I can do this, though. Because, yeah, like, if I do it too soon, and I just pop the door open, we could end up in trouble if there's actually something difficult on the other side. I don't think there will be. I think, if I recall correctly, each building... Each building in this... Um... Each building in this map just has, like, one promoted guy in it, and then a couple of the, like, unpromoted regulars. I 
Just like, if I recall correctly, the, um, the boss is up here. I think he's just here. Behind the double door. Uh, how are we looking? I don't think we can get inside. What do we got? Oh, chests. Neat. Uh, I'm gonna just order my inventory a bit. Axe Reavers, Lance Javelin, you know, all the standard affair. Nothing, nothing terribly exciting. I did think I would have actual things to fight in there. It's incorrect. Gotta remember to finish Ninian and Elliewood next to each other if I want to build up their support. Maybe I need to, like, after this episode, draw a chart and, and figure out who I want to romance who and, like, you know, have, have like, a crazy board, like a, a crazy cork board, and, and draw the connections between them and figure out who who should be all chummy with who. That'd be pretty fun. Maybe I will. Maybe before next week. I do like the Falco Knight animation. The, like, after they get off the screen and they like sort of come back and do that turn like that must have been really interesting to animate like you just watch it again it's a very fascinating animation oh actually you won't see it because I have a javelin never mind never mind Although, I did level up Florina to a Falco Knight. Maybe I should have just brought her. Um, let's heal up Heath, first of all. I have no idea why they told me to bring Fal uh, Wyvern Knights. I would not have picked Wyvern Knights for this map. Ooh, I think those are worth like 50 grand? Obviously, at the moment, money's not really an issue because of all the arena ring we did. But. Yeah. Eh, huh, I mean, still, money's money. I am a little concerned about the paladin. Paladins can be scary. I'm just gonna hope that guy can, you know, not die. Is, if, you know, I have lofty expectations for guy at the moment. Just don't die. Intruders, let them go. We've nothing against you. You must gain the trust of the Black Fang and get close to that man. You must avenge the death of our liege, Lord Elver. Right, is this Harkin? Yeah. Harkin with the Braves. Brave sword. I believe he needs to see Elliewood, which would make sense if he's the last, like, surviving knight of Ferre. Then, uh. Then it would make sense that he has to talk to Elliewood. Uh, I might just hang out here, though. He can't quite get us yet. And funnily enough, I think I'm okay with that. I think if he just. If he just stays over there. That works for me. I use a bow. They do have axe reavers, so... Axes are shit against them. Alright, so far... I don't wanna... I don't wanna jinx it. Not like the last episode, but, uh... Everything's going pretty smooth. Dart hasn't got a whole lot of XP, is, like, my main complaint. But then he's kind of hard to utilize against things that can actually, you know... Uh, kill people. Is Ninian really the only one that needs healing? Hmm. Yes, they are. And a bolting. Oh, that's heaps more useful. Okay, let's see what happens. See if we can get Harkin. Okay, I think we're good. Elo would be able to talk to him this turn. And then we can just rush out there with all of our heavy hitters. So even Lin just like Lin's is even better than than guys for the sword master. Like guy just sort of like leans at the waist to a different direction, whereas Lin like full on just turns her back on the enemy, which is again badass. 
Now nope, that's a death. Now we just get to watch Guy uh, go to work. I'm just gonna lean back in my chair. Oh, it's quite good back here, guys. Pretty good. Oh, what a shame. Oh, what a shame. You got this, Guy. I believe in you. Uh, bit disappointing. Like, if I equip him with a killing edge, he would just be able to do that, like, all day. Would actually be kind of mental. Okay, can Wrath finish off this Paladin? Yeah, he can. Well, definitely can now. I do like the spinning the arrow around your finger as well. Like, how the fuck does that even work? Arrows are just, like, straight pieces of wood with some feathers at the end. Like, what are you spinning it around? But whatever. It's a game. That's part of the fun. You. Can it really be? Is it you, Harkin? Ah. Oh. Wait, please. You're Harkin, a knight of Ferre, aren't you? Lord Elliewood? I heard that all my father's men had fallen defending him. It's good to see you well. Why didn't you return to Ferre? I failed in my duty to protect my sworn lord. I'm not worthy of the honor of being a knight of Ferre. Harkin. Before Nurgle's magic, we were annihilated. When Lord Elbert was taken away, I was powerless. Nurgle. I heard he shared some connection to the Black Fang. I searched the continent for signs of them. I intended to strike against them with my final breath. And that's what brought you here. In that case, Harkin, you should come with us. Forgive me, Lord Elliwood. I would rather die a knight than live in shame. I will trade my life for many of theirs. Hold, Harkin. Do you think my father would want that? Lord Elliwood, please. Join me, Harkin. Neither my father nor I would condone such a senseless death. Help me fulfill my father's one ambition and restore peace. I understand. My life is yours. May it serve you better than it served your father. Now just saying. I like Harkin. But he's not wrong. He, he had one job, and that was to protect his liege lord, and he kind of fucked it. So yeah, you can see here, these give four attacks, because... The way brave weapons work, I think we talked about it before, but I'll cover it again. Because you know normally, if you have two attacks, and you are the attacker, you attack, they attack, you attack. And that's the order of it. It's like, attacker goes first, then defender, then attacker, then defender. If they both have two attacks, it goes attacker, defender, attacker, defender. If the attacker has two, and defender has one, it goes attacker, defender, attacker. Otherwise it goes attacker, defender, defender, right? Um, but with a brave weapon... It does two for every one attack, so if if I attack with this, what I will do is I would... I'll kill him in the first swing, because Harkin's a beast. But it would go attacker, attacker, defender, attacker, attacker. Or if the a defender had two attacks, it would go attacker, attacker, defender, attacker, attacker, defender. Like, brave weapons completely change how everything works. Which makes them crazy potent. Um, which is why they- it's why a game gives you, like, fuck all. They- they really do not give you any of these. <laughs> I think I might be able to get one later on. Like, one? But that'd be it. Actually... I mean, I'll be able to buy more later, I think. I think... I think the next secret shop has them. I could be wrong, though. Shit, is there a secret shop in this level? Oh, I may have forgotten that there is a secret shop in this level. Might be why they told me to bring Merlinus. In case I had the... The card. Uh, that... Yeah, shit. It, it's kind of almost sort of coming back to me that there could be a, uh, a secret shop on this level. Ugh. Question is, do I have the membership card in Merlinus, or do I have it in Legault? Or do I have it on someone else that I just didn't bring? 
that's also a possibility. Shit, I don't remember. Oh, I hope there's no secret shop in this one. We have so much money, we'd be able to buy so many things! So many things. Shit. I know where one is. Like, I know where one of them is. Which I think is in the mission after this one. So maybe there is no secret shop in this one. Because it seems kind of weird they'd have a secret shop here. And then a secret shop on the next mission as well. Uh, all answers. So let's go and play with the axe, maybe. And my axe! God, I, I, I love the axe attack from the, um... From the buddy generals. They just, like, torpedo this giant, like, stone-looking axe thing. Seems great. Okay, well, this is gonna be the last mistake you ever made. Yeah, see, Canis has... Canis actually has a speed and skill higher than, than a Myrmidon. Which is pretty impressive. Like, I would have expected that to go one for one. With neither being, like, particularly faster than the other one. Or, like, Canis being faster but not getting two attacks. Because I think there has to be a bit of a discrepancy before you get two attacks. Hmm. Anyway, this will be the last turn. I just didn't want to leave... Leave this, like, unfinished with a whole turn left to do. Or rather with, sorry, with like half a turn left to do. I'd rather, you know, finish at the, at the top of a turn rather than the middle or the end. Just because it's... It's more fun. And that way I don't forget what the fuck I was doing. Oof. I mean, like, you're super dead, but... You went down like a trooper. God, I don't know if I'd fight Canis. I think if I saw that in a dark alley, I'd be out of there. In fact, quite frankly, if I saw it on a bright battlefield, I'd still be out of there. <laughs> Do not want any of that. See, like, in that animation where it comes back off the right of the screen, that's really cool. That you sort of see the 360 degrees of the, the sprite, which would be really hard to pull off and look good in animation. Anyway, we are going to leave this episode here, so thank you very much, everyone, for watching. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you want to see more content from me, the Aussie Nerd, feel free to subscribe to my channel. If you think you know any friends who might enjoy my content, make sure you share a video or two with them. I really appreciate it. And finally, if you want to leave any hints, tips, tricks, feedback for videos, or you just want to say hi, make sure you do so in the comments section down below so I can see it. And I'll see all of you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.